supposed to be a short break for Leon S. Kennedy. Just one last pit stop at a gas station on the outskirts of town when the rookie cop found himself surrounded in a sea of zombies. Along with a newfound friend, Claire Redfield, Leon managed to escape to Raccoon City only for an accident to split them apart. Deftly navigating through the perilous streets, Leon has made his way to the city's police station. But has he really made it to safety? So, this is Leon Kennedy. And we've got to explore Hello? the station a bit. Is anybody here? Got some ammo. Let's check this computer. RPD. RPD. The Raccoon City Police Department. Looks like we've definitely got some Not zombies. Here. Some zombies here. Send reinforcements. East hallway. All right. So, I'm gonna find that guy. Let's find that dude, as Leon said. Uh, we can view the map. Making use of the map. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest and items you have found but haven't picked up yet. Okay, so we're here. In the main hall, the watchman's room. I'm assuming that's where we need to go. All right. I've been watching a lot of zombie stuff recently. Um, what's this? Looks like we've got a little puzzle. So yeah, this week I watched All of Us Are Dead, which is a new series on Netflix. And then I also just finished, like maybe 20 minutes ago, I finished Train to Busan. as much as I like. 
love that game. It's kind of a tricky, tricky line. I found it a lot scarier than Jesus. a lot of like horror movies. Kennedy. There was another officer I, I couldn't... I couldn't... Yeah, because we're like both police officers here, aren't we? I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. I did. I did what I could. So I've got a combat knife now. Which is good. Like this combat knife. So I need to find three medallions for this right here. Um, let's go through this door.
the Silent Hill game that looks this good. Um, because I've got to say that I'm a much bigger fan of those games than, um, than the Resident Evil ones. They've got kind of a, a vibe that's more appealing to me, I guess, with the fog and the small town kind of stuff. Just love that. But, um, but these are pretty great too. I just haven't really played like a ton of these. September 25th, we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. David Ford. What do we got here? Okay, so this filled out our map. Failed out the map for us. That's good. I go through here. Oh no, this guy's trying to get some snacks from the vending machine. Let's just go behind him. Go behind him in here. Stay down, please. 
this. zombie movies what in the Filthy pigs. 
up in a steel pit and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it, and it's sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one Reaving Loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you, and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. That reminds me of Jigsaw. I just binged all those for the first time last year as well. The Saw movies, I've got to say. Those movies are so much fun. Um, it's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be Marvin. right there. Marvin needs us back. But yeah, I feel like for the Saw movies, the more extra Jigsaw got, the more I liked it. <laughs> It's like so, so extra with all his little traps and stuff, and it made me laugh a lot. And I don't think those movies are meant to be taken too seriously. And so, kind of the crazier they got, the better. So, come here. Saw 3D might be my favorite one. Yes. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Is that Claire? Claire. I can't it is. Town with her. I'm on it. Okay, let's go to the Thanks, courtyard. Lieutenant. Let's go and get Claire. Oh, that's the end of the demo. That was short. But that was fun. I don't know, did you, do you like watching me shoot some zombies? I do really want to do more survival horror on this channel, but also I kind of feel like um, there's a lot less interest for it, but it's also, I don't know, it's something that I have interest in, and so I feel like maybe other people would do. Let me know if you want to see more of games like this. Um, last one I did, Tormented Souls, didn't do very well, but that's how it goes. So, let's see, we've got the results on this little sheet of paper. And the game mode was standard. Completion time, 19.09. And with zero retries. Not bad, not bad. I didn't even get to use the shotgun yet. If I would have known it was going to end um, that quickly, I would have probably shot up some more zombies, but that's how it goes. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that you had fun, and I hope this was relaxing. Um, some relaxing zombie, zombie fun. I'll catch you next time.